Hello, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Last time, we were playing with shuttles. This time, I thought I'd show you something a bit different. Something that I recently just found on an old flash drive. We are in Kerbal Space Program 24.2, I think? And this is a version of Kerbal Space Program in which I have a bunch of Soviet mods installed. Yes, I've got the Soyuz in the mirror and all the fun things. I'll show you here. I also think I have, or had, in this particular installation, what's it called? Uh, it's one of the communication satellite ones. I forget the, uh, the name of it. Let's see. Let's see what we've got. Here's the Soyuz parts. Buran. Or however that's pronounced. Lanahook. Whatever how it's spelled or pronounced. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that's this. Okay. Alright, I, I literally just loaded this up and thought I'd record it for for folks to see. This is apparently the save where I tried to move asteroids around and failed. Yep, that is definitely this save. Oh yeah, let's see what else we've got. Look at all the crazy crap I used to build. Oh yeah, this is definitely my asteroid moving save file. So that's like the core, that was like the core of a mover that you'd attach to the asteroid. And then you'd bring in four of these little fucking things to stick on the sides, as you can see with the docking ports. And then use the nuclear engines to pull the asteroid back in, or over into your orbit. Ah, that's crazy. Wow. Wow. I never did ever successfully get a uh, an asteroid into curve in orbit, but you know. It is what it is. What else do we have? Hold on, because I remember there was a really crazy one. Is this it? No. This was an attachment tower, and then I'd have like the moving engines connected down here. Because before I did indeed get one of those fat connect those fat movers connected to an asteroid. I'm trying to get an E-type into Kerbal orbit, but I never. I never managed it, just to a bunch of problems. But this was supposed to keep the engines as far away from the asteroid as possible, because... Well, before, I did get one of them attached, as I said, but the engines were so close that it just burnt into the side of the, uh... Into the side of the asteroid. I think that was this thing, actually. And for this actual ship, I can get this entire middle section into space with a ton of fuel left in this tank, which is always fun. Ah, here we go. Now we're getting into the the Soviet stuff. Here's the space shuttle, the Soviet space shuttle. All of these, I believe all of them are Bobcat mods, if I recall. I think Bobcat's kind of gone from the modding scene at this point. But yeah, these are all Bobcat related mods. If I can find a thread to any of their stuff, I'll link it in the description down below. If it's not there, well, it's not there. <laughs> I couldn't find it. Here's the Proton Lifter. What's inside? Oh, uh, it's a part of Mir. I'll show you that space station in a bit. Let's see, yeah, that's all these. What? Huh? Let's launch the hype train. What is that? What? <laughs> oh my god, it's been so long since I've seen this thing. Wow. Yeah. It's been months. Months since I've seen this. Well, as you can see, I made a train in Kerbal Space Program that I could launch places. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Maybe I'll launch one of those in this video. Oh, that's awesome. Let's see what else we've got here. 
Where was that? Here we go, L slot. Luna 17. I, I, I'm going to assume these are all mere parts. Except for, I know what, I'm pretty sure I know what multi probe is. It's a main launch vehicle with more than one satellite on it. Yeah, that's what it is. Just a bunch of little satellites. Let's see what else we've got. N1, I'm pretty sure that is the Soviet moon landing, launching, whatnot, who's... Yeah, that's what that is. I don't know where the shroud starts. So I'm afraid to start touching things. Yep, I knew I'd break something. Control Z. Is this, ah, there it is. See? The Soviets got all of that into space and on the way to the moon. I'm pretty sure the lander's like in here somewhere. Because this certainly isn't a lander, I'll tell you that. Yeah, just Control Z. Control Z. So yeah, that's the, uh, maybe I'll launch that mission. I'm not sure how it goes though, so I'll probably fuck it up from a historical standpoint. Then again, considering, considering that they never actually made the trip or made the launch, it doesn't really matter, so. Or at least from what I can recall. Here's another one of those add-on to the side parts before I started using docking ports. I started by using these, the, the uh, claws, but after about five claws being on the same ship, or connected to the same ship, it causes extreme lag, and I'm not sure why. That's not for me to find out. Let's see, these are just probes, observation probe. Yeah, I must have, I must have MapSat or something on here. As you can see, it's being lifted by a Soyuz. Do I? I don't see any of the... No, I don't. Huh. I do not have any of the communication satellites or any other satellite -y part mods installed. Interesting. But as you saw, there's three different kinds. There's a small one, which is this one. The large one. I'm not sure what this looks like. Let's find out. It's probably on one of my, yeah, one of my custom lifters. Wow, what the f- Wow, I'm not sure what I was thinking. That's a really big satellite. Let's see what the medium one looks like. Because that's small, large, medium. Mm, well, it still fits on a Soyuz. Can I put... Hmm. As you can see, I just ghetto rigged a bunch of Soyuz bits together to get this thing into orbit using the actual lifter itself. Do I have the uh, the shrouds for this thing? Let's see. They'd probably be under structural. Or not. As you can see, definitely not in Kerbal Space Program 0.90, considering that the... The Whatchama menu up here is not all crazy. Where in the world are those shrouds? Here, they've got to be in here. Hmm. <sighs> Where? Um. Oh, here they are. Oh, these aren't the right ones. These are the smaller ones. Um. Uh, these ones? No. These ones? No. I'm not sure where the larger shrouds are. Oh, they're there. There we go. Just save that. So that's that probe. Let's see what else we've got on here. What? I don't know. pre -roar, blah, blah. And Probably another Russian space station. Sp blah, space station piece. Yep! That's exactly what that is. What else we got here? Another... Wait, this is just called Station Core. What's that? It's definitely not the default station core, because this thing's got 90-something pieces. Wow. Alright. I was apparently going to make a space station of my own in this save. I probably never got around to it, though. Super Mover, I think we... 
the deorbiter of doom. Let's see what that is. <laughs> All right. Um, not sure what this is for. It must be taking parts off of the station and moving them around or removing them. If I recall, I accidentally got two of the mere space station pieces in the incorrect places or something to that effect. Or I built one of them wrong, so I kind of had to deorbit one and put a different one up there. Let's see what the super mover is. Sounds like a tug. It's probably an asteroid mover. Yep. This is the asteroid mover. This thing goes on the end of those that gigantic arm and then this will pull the asteroid wherever I want to take it. That's awesome. Let's see what else. We're almost at the bottom of the list here. We've seen the ultimate and then yeah, these are just mere space station bits. Oop. Here. And we'll go back. Let's go look what we have in the in the uh, SPH, the space plane hangar. Cuz considering that's what I've got in the if that's what I've got in the vertical assembly building, who knows what I've got in the space plane hangar. I did most of my vehicle building in here. What? Ooh, lots of trains. Lots and lots of trains. Wow. Let's try the Let's start at the bottom and work our way up this time cuz that's undoubtedly going to go from the most advanced to the what the fuck? I do not remember building this thing. Well, looks to be a shuttle a train shuttle that's okay it's got parachutes on it so I had no wheels so I expect it probably lands normally enough Wow all right let's see what's the next thing in the line of insanity that's the shuttle this is the science train choo-choo motherfuckers all aboard oh it's my lander I took this to a few planets I think I took it to Duna, the moon, Minmus. Awesome. I'm glad I found this save now. I can actually use these later on. Let's see, science train. Um, what's the difference? They look to be identical. Alright, let's just go to the orbiter. Probably a much less advanced version, yeah. It's just got one big thing up here. I think this is the one that was on that. No, it's, I was thinking this is the one that was on the uh, on that lifter in the uh, VAB, but it's not. That one had two little engines on the sides here. Let's see what was that. That was the orbiter. Let's go science train of the hype varietal. Uh, yeah, it's just a sign. It's just got some science going on. That's it. Ah, that's the difference. It's got some of uh, these pods down here to do science. Does it have uh, any of those? It doesn't have any of the, the big containers for sciencey stuff. So that's 3.0F. Not sure what that means. Let's find out. Looks basically the same. It's got a satellite dish up here. It's just got two RCS tanks. This might be the one that was on the uh, the, sh the lifter because it's got this little engine here. So that's 3.0F. Let's try 2.0. Much different. It's got st or ladders on the back. It doesn't it doesn't have a back panel. It has an engine. Not sure what that's good for. If I, I guess if I want to go really fast in a train, that was 2.0. Let's go with the original, the hype train itself. Oh, God. Yeah, I definitely came a long way in this build. You've got a bunch of things up top just flickering through each other. I guess it, this is probably looks like I tried to actually have smoke come out the top, but never, never managed to get that work to work. Oh, well. That's a shame. It looks a bit shorter to me as well. Not sure why. Probably isn't. It's probably the exact same length. And I suspect these are these are just differently named versions of each one going down in the line. Yeah, here's the shuttle. The next one will be the lander with all the science and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually gonna take let's take this out and see what it does. 
Because if I recall, the way you land this on a planet is you take it up with a, a regular lifter and transfer stage. You then decouple from the back here and then control from somewhere up here to use these engines to come down and land. Alright, I guess for now we'll get rid of that stage. So we don't need that. That's, that's, yeah, it's, it's, it's really one of those Mars lander type things, type deals. Let it do its thing. Alright, let's put on the brakes. See what the, uh, let's see what all the different action groups do. Alright, number one. Ladders. Number two. The underside landing gear. That's for landing, considering these landing gear don't break when you hit them too hard, whereas all these do. That's three. Solar panels. Four. Oh, that's so cool. Force communications. Five is do all the science. Six. Six doesn't seem to do anything. Seven. Also nothing. Eight. Nine. Zero. All right. Wow. I actually put a lot of work into this. What was the what was the landing gear? Three. Two. There we go. One. There we go. Wow. Let's take off our brakes. Choo choo, motherfuckers! Wow. Look at that. It's kind of front heavy. I wish I could get this. Yeah, it's definitely front heavy. But then again, that's not surprising with all of this up here. And the only thing back here are some of these flat panels. That's kind of not surprising whatsoever. This thing likes to turn on its own. Let's turn on the computer. I would suspect the reason for that is just the top heaviness of it. And as you lean to one side, everything seems to lean to that side. And then the suspension on the landing gear does its, its thing. We'll see. This might actually be the save where I have some of these trains on other planets. We'll see. Well, this thing turns pretty well without rolling over too fast. I really wish there was a right click functionality for this to disable the 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 suspension. That would make this a whole lot more stable. Also, oh, I just realized, isn't there a big giant tank right about here next to Cuz yeah, when we landed our shuttle, there was a big fuel tank here. Wow, they had a whole lot of really weird stuff in point nine oh. I think I'm gonna actually take this over to my point nine oh save file and edit the crap out of it and make a better version because you can see this up here is not all properly connected. Oh ouch. Wow, I didn't break any oh okay I broke one one wheel. Damn this thing's sturdy. All right, that's that. Let's head back to our hangar. Now to show you the missions that are actually in orbit right now. All right, let's go see what that's all about. All right, let's see what we've got in orbit. Or even on the planet, I don't know. I haven't been on this save file in so long. Alright, let's start close to Kerbin and work our way away. What do we have? We've got the science train, probably a test flight, as well as the Mir space station. Considering we've been looking at trains for like five minutes now, let's start with Mir. Loading, loading, loading. Wow, look at that! The entire Mir space station built with the Soyuz craft stuck to it, as well as a shuttle. And another Soyuz inside the shuttle, because fuck logic. Interesting. As you can see, this is, if I recall, this is the adapter that allows the American shuttle to dock to it, but I have the, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't work properly with the Russian one. 
if I recall, I'm supposed to like dock here or somewhere else on the back of this thing. Wow. One thing I found kind of annoying with this shuttle or with the the Bobcat version of the the Mir space station is some of these panels aren't correct. Like they're supposed to go, they've got the small sliver down here, then a medium, then a medium, then a large. Some of them don't have the double large, like the double long ends on these sides. One of them, I'm pretty sure, uh, where are they? I'm pretty sure this one only has these small ones. And I'm pretty sure these far end ones only have the small, like the cut off ends. But that's kind of irrelevant because it's really cool looking. Let's see how many Kerbals are on here. Three, Bill, Jeb, Bob. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Wow, twenty-four Kerbals up on the Mir space station. Look at that. Kind of overkill. I suspect a lot of them are in the in here. There's like five or something in here, and then three in here. Alright, that's Mir. Let's see what's next. Let's go check out the science train. <laughs> wow. Looky that. Oh, this is another beta version of the science train. It doesn't have the, uh, the landing connector. This must be just like for terrestrial landings and stuff, because it has a much larger parachute here up on top. So I guess if I wanted to, it probably works just like the other one. You pull in all your solar panels. You Does this thing have an engine? It does not! There is no engine on this thing. It is stuck in space. If we want to save these three Kerbals, wait, three, four, five. If we want to save these five Kerbals, we'd have to do some kind of rendezvous. Oh, look at that! They're actually in the chairs! Look at that! Choo-choo motherfuckers! Yes! Oh, there's only one in one of the chairs. Alright, that's, that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Oop. Gotta have the camera centered. Alright, what's next? So... That's the closest. We've got those. What's this? This is an observation probe. This is probably the, that small one we saw on, on the Soyuz. Yep. It's time warp so we can actually see it in some sunlight here. There we go. Look at that. It's got those circular solar panels. I think those are really cool. I, d I wish they didn't stick out as far on on, on, on those, but, you know. You take what you can get. Alright, what's next? I suspect the medium one. Yep. We'll see that thing fully deployed. Because if I recall, it's got crazy ring... Yeah! It's got, like, a crazy ring solar array, and... It's, like, really fat and short and awesome. I believe these are from the Near Future Technologies. I believe that's what it's called. But yeah, these are pretty cool, because if I hear if I go toggle, bring them back in. They, like, fold into those little things, come in, fall down. It's so cool. What else? Is that all that's on here that's of interest? Looks to be. What's next? This is the large probe. I don't remember what this one looks like deployed, so we're going to find out. Oh, my God. Jesus. That's fucking overkill. It is actually taking a slight hit to my frame rate, it's so big. Wow. I built some really crazy shit back in my day. This was before I built the current computer I'm on now. Back on my old computer, it cut the frame rate down to like 5 or 6 if I recall. Let's see what's next. Next is, oh wow, there's a lot of things around the moon. Here, let's just... Switch over there. Well, let's start with the thing that's landed on the moon. This is probably the Russian... Yeah, this is the Russian lander. Where's its landing pad? I can't see. So I probably just... It probably got deleted, because I have... 
If I recall on this particular save file, I have I have uh, debris turned off, so anything that doesn't technically count as a ship gets deleted. Just to cut back on lag. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, turn off the brakes and you can drive this thing around. Yeah, this is what Russian rovers looked like back before we landed on the moon. If I recall, they crashed two of these things into the moon and then landed one. Nope, no, we're not. We're going to just go to back to the map. I, I suspect all of these satellites are just that multi-sat thing. Those little multi-sat probes I saw, we saw before. Yeah, that's all they are. Just a tiny little satellite. I wish we had more dish sizes, to be honest. Because I really like the look of satellite dishes on, well, satellites. But the fact that we've only got one in one size is really annoying. But I don't suspect this video will be seen by squad, so that's not going to change. Let's see, Minmus. More multi-probes, looks like. Yeah, that's all that is. Let's see, what other planets do we have things landed on? We've got this way out here. Oh, you can see one of the asteroid movers. Oh god, this is going to It pro this is probably one that's ripped itself apart trying to Oh no. Look at that. A completely intact asteroid moving system. Wow. As you can see, we're stuck on the side of an E-type asteroid, a gigantic thing. Looks tiny in comparison. If I could figure out how to like feather throttle this thing into curve and orbit, I would, but I can't, so trust me, I've tried hundreds of times. Or not hundreds, at least at least twenty times. So we've got another asteroid mover. I wonder if this is a different version, a different kind of asteroid mover. Yes, yes it is. This is the one that just burnt the engines into the asteroid. It didn't do anything. It's completely... As you can see, this is a pulling version. The other one was a pushing version. This one still has pushing capabilities, but I think I use that as the transfer transfer engine to get out here. Wow. Not see anything else? Or is that, is that about it? No, that seems to be it. Alright, this recording's gone on for, what is it, like 20, 27 minutes now? I think I'll cut it, uh, I think I'll cut it off here. And then in the next episode, perhaps we could launch the Russian moon landing mission or like, I don't know, science train? Maybe. Or perhaps I'll, uh, I don't know if any of these mods will work with 9.0. Maybe I'll move it all over to 9.0. We'll see what happens. I'll test between now and then. But until next time, goodbye!